Butler. Today we're going to demonstrate Grace's method of capturing orbs. Thank you for joining us and now on with the show. <laughs> I'd like her to demonstrate, show first her camera and tell us what kind it is. Well this is one of my cameras, my favorite one. It is a Kodak Easy Share 2Z710. And it has zoom. That's the important thing about digital cameras. They need to be where you can zoom in. If they don't zoom in, you won't get the orbs. And explain how you get these orb pictures using your camera. Well, I turn my camera on. I shut the little shutter for the flash because you do not want to flash. Now in the background where you can't see it, there's a light. And I'm going to hold this glass thing that's part of a chandelier in front of my um, lens with the light in front of me. In front of you? Yeah, the light is right there behind you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to focus up on the shiny spot of light that forms onto this. That spot is where the orbs are found. Here's her light and it's a LED, pretty bright. And so she uses this light, she faces it with her camera, and then she uses a shiny object and focuses on a shiny spot on that object to catch her orb pictures. We need to have a dark room, correct? It needs to be dark with just one LED light shining, and it has to be an LED. Other lights don't work as well. Okay. The sunlight works, but then you have to be in the sunlight when the rays of the light of the sun are slanted otherwise they're too bright okay and it also helps to be under a tree so they're kind of muted from the branches of the tree and you just get slivers of sunlight and you do the same method i'm doing here with okay. the sun as your source okay but what the sun gives you as orbs is the same as what the led light gives you as orbs now hers are different than my methods I don't use an object and I don't use a light. Mine just come sort of naturally, but mine are very pastel. Now Grace does adjust the darkness, the contrast of her pictures, which brings out the color in her pictures. I, I choose not to do that, but hers becomes so much more brilliant and visible when she does do that. So we have different methods. Now Grace, how many years have you been taking pictures of boys? Over five years. Five years. And about how many pictures do you take a day? The day comes that I take them, I'll take two or three hundred. And of those two or three hundred pictures, Grace, how many have orbs in them? Well, I only take pictures of orbs. She only takes pictures of orbs. She's able to see these in the viewfinder of her camera. I also see them with my eyes. She also sees them with her naked eye. And now, not using the glass. Just looking at light. When I look at light, a big orb comes right in front of me like this, about this big. I can see it. And it's got in it the things that are in the orb pictures that I take. But they're free floating in and out of that big orb. And that big orb is kind of moving around. I have to, had to train my eyes to hold it still. So she's finding what I consider to be live activity inside the orbs themselves and she can see that with her naked eye and today we're going to demonstrate Grace's technique I'm going to try to film her actually getting these light beams on her camera as she does it and then I'm going to try to do it and I can I'll duplicate you it. Trying to do it right so <laughs> go in I hope I can okay so now we're filming and the only light that's in the room we're going to use Grace's LED light, which is what you see there. And she's going to start demonstrating. Okay, the technique is to hold this little piece of glass and so that the light that's shining on it makes a bright, shiny spot. Okay. And it's that bright, shiny spot that you will zoom in on. Have your uh, shutter closed. Always have it closed. Okay. See if I can focus in on what she's getting. 
Okay, can you see that I'm yes. getting things in there? And as I move it about in the room, really colorful things will show up in it. I'm gonna zoom in right in front of your face, so hold on. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, see now this is right looking at her lens. You'll see a lot of pictures, even if I don't get to show it to you this way because it's kind of difficult to uh, get to them when I have to hold the camera a certain way so she can view it. Demonstrate again what we've been okay. doing. Okay. Okay, I turn my camera on. Mm -hmm. I put the glass marble in mm -hmm. front of the camera's lens mm -hmm. and I just span around. Even I turn the, the this piece of glass. Crystal doesn't work by the, by the way. Shiny glass works. Shiny glass. You can see the activity happening in her camera. Maybe we can see. Yes. You see what she is mm -hmm. getting. Color is showing up there. So you know that's how she's getting her orbs. And they're always round and I'm not sure why. Okay, so let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Okay, so this is me trying to get it with my cell phone camera. Get that spot right there. Yeah, there's one on the side of it. Yeah, well you are getting uh, orbs with your cell phone. Okay. So this is what I was filming, and that's the LED light up there. Mm -hmm. See, so when I go up to the LED light, that's interesting. Oh, that's just something. Some people think that that is a little bee, and you know you have to take into account what people say about what, what light refraction is. Right there. Right, yeah, you've got some orb. I think you've got some orbs there. Yeah, see, so you make it go in the light and out mm -hmm. of the light. Very interesting. Well, there's a purpose for it, I'm sure, but what that is hasn't been revealed to me yet. More will be revealed, as they say. And I will tell about it on my YouTube channel because I tell everybody all about anything that happens to me. <laughs> and Grace Butler's YouTube channel is easy to find. It's Grace Butler. So if you're interested, do go to Grace Butler at YouTube. And we are here to celebrate the publishment of our book, Living Light Illuminated. It's available on Amazon. And it's also available on our website, livinglightbeings.com. Thank you for joining us, Grace. It's a pleasure. Okay. <laughs>